Hi guys, I thought I'll um, let you in on the latest project I'm working on. It's um, it's a private commission and uh, so I'm not able to share a lot um, on the social media, but I'm able to share a lot with you guys. So I thought I'd let you in on the first stage of um, all, the first stage all my projects probably go through, um, the fabric collage. And uh, I thought I'd let you in on how I go about it. Basically, I choose my base, which is in this case a medium weight calico. Um, I choose calico because it's, um, it's easy for me to stretch at the end when I'm done. Um, I'll st I stretch my pieces on artist canvas and um, calico is it's not really stretchy, but it allows me to sort of um, get any wavy parts um, stretched out and um, it is very sturdy. So I can seriously pull um, and, and, and tweak anything while um, framing and um, yeah, that's why I've, I've chosen it. It's also pretty cheap. Um, compared to any other um, fabric and yeah I like the sturdiness of it. Um, so how I start is um, I take a reference photo, I print it out on high quality paper and in good color what you can see here this is what's left of my photograph. So this part here for example is um, what you see down here the, the chin and the hairs and um, yeah, I've basically dissected the piece. Uh, this here is just hair in the base color. It's slightly darker. Um, I've taken, I've chosen this piece of fabric here for this one. So what I do is I take distinct um, areas of a photo, like this one here is very white. I've cut it out and uh, I've found a fabric that goes with it. That's the one here, for example. I thought, right, this will be my highlight. It's not exactly the same color because obviously I'm gonna go over it with a lot of thread, but um, it tells me that in my collage at this point here, these hairs are really, really highlighted. And um, I know that when I blend, for example, here, this is the part where there's the dark hair still going and blending in with the light hair can see a bit of that happening here so I know right it's going all the way to this point and when I start here I need to go very 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 light so this is like um, like a map my fabric collages are maps people always go why do you make collages when you go and stitch all over it um, I make the collage because like I said it's my map I it's my orientation while embroidering so as an example I have cut out this is the nose right if you put these pieces together this is the nose and um, I have a very dark part of the nose and a sort of the tip is a light so first thing is I cut out the entire nose I copied it onto um, freezer paper I can't find the right piece for the nose I've used but, um, well, anyway, this, for example, here is the ear. So for every piece that I have here, I have a um, freezer paper. So I take this. This is my freezer paper. I copy it onto the freezer paper. I cut it out and um, iron it onto the reflective fabric. This would be this one here. All right. Cut it out from the freezer paper, stick it on. And then I separate the two, do the same again, sketch this onto the freezer paper. I always use the one I've just used so I save some um, resources. Um, find the according fabric, which is this one here. Cut it out again and stick it on. Same for the eye. I first decided to cut out the entire black, then dissected it into the eyeball, and then I can't find the little pupil anymore <laughs> somewhere in here. Um, stuck that on here and used the highlight as well. Okay, 
So I hope this makes sense. So what I do now when I have, for example, this part here, because I've um, used it before, I wish I would have, this is it, okay? Reference photo sketched on, traced on um, a freezer paper, ironed on fabric, okay? Then you pull the fabric off and you um, place it where it's supposed to go. And then I just use regular super glue, uh, super glue, regular paper glue, not super glue. And um, I use a little pin and I just small amounts, really small amounts on here. And I use the fabric and slide it like this. And you can see I did this last night and it's all, it's sticking, okay? It doesn't need to fully stick, like this is enough because I'm going to hoop it and then I'm just going to stick down, uh, I'm just going to not stick down but um, sew it down in very um, loose stitches so I don't lose any um, of the pieces while I'm embroidering can be a wild process sometimes yeah so um, I hope this makes sense to you um, this is quite large as you can see my hand it's actually um, 40 centimeters by 36 ish there's there's going to be some hair still here and sticking out and also up here there will be some blending it's going to be a black background again because it really makes the piece pop and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to taking you on this journey. Like I said, I won't be able to share on social media much. Just a few um, details and close-ups. Um, unless I get another go-ahead from the person who commissioned this piece for his wife. It's a present for the anniversary. It's really cool. And um, yeah, I hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please use the Facebook group. Or um, on Kofi directly under this video, and I'll try and answer all your questions. And um, thank you for your support; uh, it really means a lot to me. And um, stay safe, everyone. Take care. Happy weekend. Bye bye.